A local chef with a popular Metro Detroit restaurant is about to begin a different kind of culinary journey. She's checking in to the Last Bite Hotel. It is a new show on the Food Network that puts chef to the test in a competition that's judged by some of the biggest names when it comes to celebrity chefs. I'm Titus Burgess and welcome to my hotel. All know we're strong competitors. The competition is not going to be easy. These are the only ingredients you'll have to cook with during your stay. Normally, when I do competitions, the pantry is huge. So it's kind of crazy that I only have the ingredients that I brought in my trunk. I just hope I brought the right ingredients to get through this competition and win it. While you're here, you'll be required to provide meals for my demanding guests. Hello, sir. Oh, Titus. These are chefs that I've been watching since I was a kid. I am terrified. Ooh, the tension. I know. Joining us now Ooh. in studio is Chef Gabriella Baldwin, the co owner and executive chef of Testabara in Macomb and a competitor on Last Bite Hotel. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Thank you. She already established she does not like candy corn. <laughs> I saying. do not. Yes. Yes. So, what can you tell us about this competition? Because it looks so challenging. It does. It was. Um, you know, this was my seventh mm -hmm. competition I've done. And wow. so, I kind of thought I knew what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. But uh, given the mysterious aspect, it really kept us on edge, mm -hmm. um, both figuratively and literally. Mm -hmm. We had no idea what was around every corner. Yeah. So that adds to the tension because if you kind of know what you're dealing with, then you can like plan accordingly. Yes. But this was not the case in no. this show. So what was it like working with the VIP judges like Kat Cora and Andrew Zimmerman? Well, um, in my in my career as a commercial chef and a private chef alike. I've been working with, you know, elite exclusive clients mm -hmm. and, and high-end clientele, but um, this time, you know, you're on the other end of the judgment. So it can be, it can feel very vulnerable, mm -hmm. but it's also very regarded that you're getting feedback from such uh, notoriable names. Yeah, that's very true. Yes. Yeah, you're being pushed to the edge, but then at the same time, getting great feedback. It's from, incredible. Yeah, that's awesome. So how did the show push you to your culinary creativity? Like, where did you get it from? Uh, well, you know, you take your creativity mixed with your individuality as mm -hmm. a chef um, and thinking yeah. on your feet really pushes you out of your comfort zone and pushes you to think outside of the box yeah. and maybe um, use something that you're familiar with, but in a different way, for yeah, sure. That's really cool. Now, you are co-owner of Testabara. Tell am. us about your mm -hmm. restaurant and it makes you so popular. Yeah, so, you know, we're Italian-rooted. I call it uh, Italian-American essentials, mm -hmm. and it has some worldly uh, aspects. Yeah. So you'll find uh, traditional guanciale carbonara, but you'll mm -hmm. also find a miso salmon on there Ooh, um, and gochujang brussels so okay. and uh, bolognese that is common comparable to what we experienced in Bologna. So mm -hmm. uh, we want run the spectrum of really fun Italian fare. I like that because I like Italian food, but I like Italian American yes. food. Yes. It's, it's a difference. difference. It's a wider, it's wider yeah. variety yeah. of flavors. Definitely. So sure. what are you going to show us today? So I'm usually a burger and fries kind of girl, okay. but uh, given the fall flavors yes. that mm -hmm. you guys are, we're all fixated on <laughs> yeah. right now. Um, I'm doing a crunch salad, and I'm a new hockey mom. So shout out to the hockey moms Aww. out there. <laughs> I want something easy that's uh, kind of a throw together. So in my bowl, I have Brussels and I have uh, romaine. You could do kale or spinach and then I'm gonna make my maple vinaigrette so mm. whole grain mustard mm -hmm. adds a really nice texture maple syrup I like dark because it uh, definitely brings a depthiness mm -hmm. um, apple cider vinegar it is apple season so I apple cider vinegar uh, sage shallot and garlic Ooh, oh, sage garlic. shallot and garlic yeah. yeah yes a little salt and pepper of course okay. and then I just emulsify it with um, olive oil and actually avocado oil. Mm -hmm. What the avocado oil does, it, it's a neutral oil, so mm -hmm. it lends itself really well to the flavors going on in here. Okay. So while you're doing that, tell me what you were doing for the holidays, because you have something coming up called Dasher Room. What's that all about? I do. Um, so at Testa Bar, we always believe in a great experience. So um, this summer we did Oro, which is it was California vibes and Latin cuisine. I'm Hispanic, la, la. so mm -hmm. uh, we you know widened our horizons on our menu and and uh, facilitated some of those great ingredients. Okay. Um, then in the winter we have a. Um, a pop-up that's modeled after Rolf's in New York City. I'm from New York originally. Mm -hmm. okay. And it feels like you're 
cuddling up under a Christmas tree. I love so it. it's oozing lights and decor, and we have a, a secret um, cocktail menu too. Ooh, yeah, I love it. Okay, so we just put the vinaigrette on the romaine and Brussels. Yes. What's next? And this is the fun part. You just throw everything, everything in. together. Okay. Yeah. Sweet potatoes. You want to help Spoon. me out? Yeah. Potatoes. Goat say. cheese and cranberries. cranberries. Oh, this is and great. Then goat cheese and cranberries. Ooh, fire. some sunflower seeds. Ooh, great like harvest of crunch, sunflower seeds right now. Yep. Sunflower you are seeds. Texture like is. Girl. I am. I am. Such a salad girl. I'll just put a few walnuts. There we go. Some That's walnuts, good. lightly toasted with some. Yep. There. As much <laughs> as you want, or as little as you want. Tati is really salad girl. I am. Okay. But well, you're gonna love this one. So do I mix it now? Yes. I just and feel then like you I just should mix it all together. You. This is okay. amazing. All, all right. right, we could do this so more I'm often mixing. here. Yeah, just call me. <laughs> call me. Um, I love this. So where can people get more information about you and your restaurant? I'm going to plate this and see yes. if I get the um, So my Instagram, at Gabriella Baldwin with two N's, and then testabara.com oh, is that's our crazy, website. I do it? cooking classes with my husband every month, uh, oh, lots of me. events. I'm mm -hmm. also sommelier, so I really Ooh, embrace the wine You just aspect. be doing everything. Yeah, she does. I, I don't is, know. I get bored is, easily. This is a well-rounded foodie <laughs> right you. here. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, and this looks beautiful. How did I do? I think you did amazing. You did do good. You. She wants Fabulous. to eat it. Fabulous. Thank you. You know it. <laughs> my, take a, take a shot at me. All right. She's competing in Last Bite Hotel, which premieres on Food Network tomorrow night um, with host Titus Burgess. Chef Gabriella, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so us. much, guys. You're so thank cool. you. This is yeah. awesome.